so what you guys want to do is you guys want to first of all you need winrar for this tutorial link in the description if you do not have winrar this is a super simple tutorial so go ahead and get winrar also you guys are going to need reaper x for this tutorial reaper 2.0 it's a plugin for cinema 40 i'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get that as well so once you guys have those two things go ahead and check the link in the description there will be a download link to this template now once you open it go ahead and click on it and then you guys should see this now go ahead and double click on this folder here and now you guys are gonna click on this first uh, file here double click on it now this is the font it is called uh, gang of three that is the font go ahead and just click install I already have it and if you guys already have this font then you guys don't need to do this step so once you have the font installed go ahead and double click on the cinema 4d file now I already have it opened so I'm just gonna go and click here now you guys should see this and um, if you guys have uh, if you guys don't have Reaper X then these little things won't be here so like I said go ahead and get Reaper X and if you don't want these then you don't really have to get Reaper X but if you want the, these little things here you need Reaper X so once you guys uh, open this up, go ahead and go to Content Browser and double click on Presets. You should see this uh, list here, these folders. Um, now it's okay if you guys don't have all these folders, in fact you won't have these folders. But what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the Material, or not the Material Pack, the what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to the template and then you'll see this template 6.lib4d file go ahead and drag that into here just drag drag oops drag and drop this into here now i've already done this so i'm not going to do it now you should see a, a folder with a lock on it or it might not have a lock I, i'm not sure but go ahead and double click on the folder and then you'll see these materials here and I'll actually do it with this one but it, it should all work the same so go ahead and basically click on one of the materials and replace it so drag bloody onto the bloody material drag g7 onto the g7 material make sure the arrow is pointing down by the way basically what this does is it replaces the material that way when you render it out there it won't be black like there's a bug that sometimes the uh, materials don't work so that's just how to fix the bugs okay so go ahead and go to uh, name. Now this should say text, I think. Um, anyways, you guys can change it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it, uh, change it to text, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's what it was at anyway. Yeah, text. All right. Um, but really, just change this to your name. Okay. <laughs> so once this is done, um, now if the uh, text doesn't fit on the uh the like the blobs here go ahead and just take one of them make sure you're selected on it control c control v and move it around until it fits on your name go ahead and just mess around position it however you want um for this i'm just gonna move the uh, text down a little bit move it back like that yeah, ju just go ahead and mess around with positioning. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone. So, basically, this is it for the Cinema 4D part. Pretty simple. Go ahead and zoom in if you want. It doesn't really matter. Basically, you're just cropping off like the like the the Reaper X. Go ahead and click this little uh, button right here, the one with the gear, and make sure everything is the these settings it should be. Uh, go ahead and click save and then save it as uh, whatever you want to save it as. So I actually made a render folder with all my renders. I know I have a lot. <laughs> um, but you, what you, what you want to do is you want to name this whatever you want basically. So I'm just going to name this name. <laughs> name template 6. And I have all caps on. Whatever. <laughs> go ahead and click save. And then go ahead and close this out. All right, so once you have done that, go ahead and click this button. It will start to render. I'm not going to render it because I already have it. So once it is done rendering, go ahead and open up 
folder actually what you want to do is you want to um, double click on this folder and you want to double click on the Adobe Photoshop file uh, which is this one it will open up the document in Photoshop but I'm gonna open that up manually I'm just gonna go to file and um, open I believe it's in documents banner template I think it's called actually I'm, I'm just gonna do it the uh, I'm just gonna open it like this and go ahead and click on that all right so once it has opened you should see this once you see this I actually have named everything this time so it's slightly easier so what you guys want to do is you guys want to hide these two layers and you want to hide that you want to hide the top two layers you want to turn these off and you want to turn the two text layers off as well okay so go ahead and open up the render go ahead and file open and then for me I saved it to the you know, GFX renders go ahead and just open it up uh, leave it in here okay so it is right here and to open this up and now once you open this up uh, there are a few things I've been doing recently with my uh, with my renders. What I do is I make sure you're actually Control J duplicate the layer. Actually no, Control Z. Uh, make sure you have one layer. And first of all, go ahead and sharpen this up. It will make the quality a lot better. Sharpen and sharpen. As you can see, it looks so much more clear. It looks better. It basically makes it a higher quality. Alright, so once that is done, go ahead and click Ctrl J, duplicate the layer. Go to the bottom one and go to filter, and go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur, and crank this up to like 50 maybe? 50 or 60? I'm gonna go with 60. Click OK. Also, this is optional. I'm just gonna make a new layer and make this layer black. Just that way you can see kind of what's happening. So this is the, the glow, the blur. Alright, go ahead, control J again. Make sure you're on the second one, the not the blur one, but the one in the middle. Filter, go to we'll leave it as blur and no, no, it's distort and go to ripple. Uh change this to large and then go to like eh, four hundred three hundred to four hundred percent. Let's try that. And yeah. Click OK and you'll get this nice effect. Now what you guys want to do is you guys want to lower this to like 80% and then also lower the top one to 80% as well. It'll basically make it slightly see-through so you can kind of see the uh, the effect through the text. Um, if I lower the opacity you can kind of see what it does there. I'm going to actually make this 70%, make this 100%. Yeah, so I'm going to make this 100% and this one 70%. You can, and as you guys can see, you can just kind of see through it a little bit. Alright, so uh, now hit Control J once more. And now what you guys want to do is you want to click this uh, tool here. It's called the Market Marquee Tool. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then just drag rectangles like this. Hold Shift. And. Oh crap, I forget the. I think it's Control Shift. Yeah. Con hold down Control and Shift. And then drag to the left or right. And then hit Control D. And just keep doing this. Control Shift. And then you know, slide it slightly to the left or right. And just keep doing this. What this does is you guys can see it gives it a glitchy effect. So you can see the line right here. And you guys can keep doing this as many times as you want, wherever you want. All right, there we go. Also, when you um, when you get done doing it like that, hit Control D, and it will deselect. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that because right, I don't want that. But yeah, so once you drag it, it, just hit Control D, and then you can do it again. All right, so once you have this, go ahead and hold Shift, click on the last one, right click, merge layers and you have this in one layer so now you guys can finally drag this into the um, the uh, the canvas 
And also make sure it is above the first one, the original one, the text. And you guys can center this. Hit Control T if it's too big, but I actually kind of like how this is, like the size of this. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller, and I just center it and position it. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Now you guys can delete these layers, these text layers here, if you guys want. Go ahead, delete those. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, now one thing you can do that's kind of events, but uh, you guys can delete these two layers, these, uh, those layers right there, and make sure you're on the top layer. Hold Shift, select everything, Control J, right click, merge layers. What this will do is it'll put everything into one layer, and then you can uh, click the crop button and just click Enter. It will select everything. Go ahead and click Enter, and it'll crop that down for you and hit Control J to duplicate this once more. And now what you guys can do is I usually save it like this just in case it crashes. Hit Control S and we'll save it. Um, then go to Filter and go to Magic Bolt Looks. This step is optional. Um, if you guys have Magic Bolt Looks, you guys can go ahead and do this. I have a tutorial on how to get Magic Bolt Looks as well, so check that out if you guys want to. But anyways, go ahead and click Magic Bolt Looks now. This, I do not remember the color correction pack or the CC pack that I do have, so I apologize for that, but basically just choose a color correction that you like. Um, again, I can't, I don't remember which color correction pack I got, so I can't really link you the one I, the ones I use. Um, but I think I used this one for this banner. I think I did, or maybe it was this one. I think it was this one. I'm gonna go with uh, 188. That looks really nice. And then go ahead and click finish. Once it is done, it will apply the color correction, and you can see that it is really, really nice. Go ahead and lower the opacity if you want the effect to be lower. I'm gonna put it to about 70%. So that looks really nice and that is pretty much it go ahead and go to file go to save as um, go to pictures and yeah PNG and um, I'm just gonna name this banner template to six tutorial and go ahead click save and then once this pops up go ahead and click OK you guys are done so that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching leave a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys peace I have been